think he was, and the first was leaving. Well, so, we've all been grabbed by the Latter-day Saints today, apart from you two. You managed to avoid them. You didn't get them to clean your house? No. I did. Oh. Okay, we were just setting up God's War when we stopped to look at our Latter-day Saint literature, because we're friends with some Mormon missionaries who come around. They're nice lads. Okay, this is, okay. Part, this is not part of the video. Yeah. Vlogged or something. Yeah. So, we're going to have a go uh, at... In case I should wear a mask. Yeah, <laughs> it's alright, we won't appear on the phone, because we're gonna, I'm going to be trying to film the actual gameplay. Oh, I am not going to probably have enough battery to film all of it, but who knows. So, this is God's War. This is not actually God's War, which costs rather a lot of money. This is the print and play prototype, and we are going to give it a go. So, playing God's War. Uh, tonight we've got Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Tom. Hello. Hugh. And uh, I'm a CJ. Ah! Okay. So, um, right. Let's start then. The question is, will we actually play the game or will we end up reading the plan of salvation because we get confused by the rules like the game last night? What was it called? Terra Mystica. Yes, Terra Mystica. Great game, but the rules are really difficult to learn. Right, let's try God's War. Okay, so we've now set up who is playing Yelm, uh, the Solar Up Tribe. John is the Storm Tribe, Tom is the Chaos Tribe, and I'm the Darkness Tribe. At the moment, Yelm is in hell with my trolls and doesn't have permission to leave. And we're starting with uh, John. Oh, who's yeah. there? is there actually meant to be a Yelm Shrine on the spike? Yes, yeah, I yes, suppose there yes. is. Makes sense. Yes. Spikes in the middle. And the Lovecraft. first player marker. So, John, do you want to take Lovecraft and decide which. Oh, sorry, Hugh. Would you like to take Lovecraft and point in one way or the other? Right, so we're doing. Uh, you might as well go for that one around. Okay, so it's you then storm, then chaos, then darkness. Okay, so turn one, who choose an action. So you could build something. Um, you can't recruit anywhere apart from on the spike where you've got a shrine. You can't move Yelm because he's in hell and he hasn't got permission. I will get a bigger map made. Archer. Okay, so the spike now has some mortal forces on. We move to Jonathan. Your turn. Ah, the yellow elves have now got a storm shrine amongst them. Tom, the forces so of I've chaos. Got a shrine with yeah. Yep. So I'll put a little chaos nest down in Brythos. Wow, that'll please them. Um. I need some forces on the surface world, really, don't I? Actually, I'm going to put a shrine in hell, please, Who Can you put one in the Which hell? outer hell, please? Okay. Who? Right. Shrine is... Uh, uh. Janet's Garden. Okay. Summon, can't I? So if I spend. Oh, have you got your unique abilities, everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's fun. I've just realised that my unique ability is on the second turn I can leave hell without permission. Right. I want a nice person. Okay. Um, if I spend two and summon the Lady of Disease, because I've got a shrine, presumably I can Is that all you need to do? It says cost two. It does not say anything special about it. I have a nest, so presumably I can summon two there. Yeah, um, Lady of Disease, where is she? Yeah, 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 if it doesn't say anything yeah. special about her. You now get a gift. I now get a gift. Okay. So I'll take the Launcher Leslie to embed nests, because that might come in handy later. Okay. So you can now cost two action to flip a chaos dust over and embed it, yeah. which I assume means it's basically fortified. And it means it's worth an extra power and gets, adds an extra kill in combat if there isn't a greater god or zero on the other side. The Profani are really going to hate you. Okay. I've got lots of stuff on there. Now. Okay, we're going into the second turn. Yelm is actually still going, but I mean, everybody's got two victory points apart from Darkness, that's me on four. The thing is, at the moment, it seems a much slower start than we're used to from Cthulhu Wars, where, you know, we're all running around building gates, getting loads of power. Mm. 
So, but we've read the rules and we think we understand what's going on now. I have four power in turn two and you've only got three. What are we going to do? What can you do with three power? Well, I was going to say, the council is really that. Anyway, there's a lot of chaos Chris. on the rest of the board. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend two power, I'll select you, you gain two power. Oh, thank you very much. That takes me up to five power, as I had almost none. Uh, right. Oh, I see, and that gives you a hero quest. What's your hero quest do? I'm thinking Sky Gift. Uh, yep. Sunspear, sorry. Yep. Action cost two. If you have a phoenix in your pool, select an enemy mortal or lesser god and roll one dice. The roll exceeds the target unit's power cost. It is killed and you may place the phoenix in the area. Well, you've got a phoenix in your pool, haven't you? I've got a phoenix. Yeah. Does it cost you anything to actually activate the hero in quest? In your pool. Uh, so, so your pool. Off the board. Yeah. Off the board. Right. Sorry? It doesn't cost me anything. Well, it costs two points to activate them. Right. So that's another action then. Yeah. Okay. So that's... Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So, what's happened is on turn end of turn two, uh, the spike exploded because I went darkness went to ten victory points, and the chaos rift opened. Uh, it's got the uh, white shrine, a troll, and a barbarian ripped into it. Tom didn't commit very much, so he lost a victory point as chaos. But that doesn't matter because his dice roll, four dice for four players, was enough to mean that, well, with the paltry amounts we sacrificed, we failed to close three the chaos. All right, I sacrificed two, I think. Jordan, you went for two as well. But we failed to actually manage to... Oh, well, let's see you come out of hell and do something. Hey, yell me, boy. Yeah, nobody give me permission yet. Okay, so anyway, we're going on to turn three. So, Tom has just done eruption. The chaos nest has meant that Frenella is now filled with bruise, the north of this part of the map up here. I should just realise nobody's been to the Sky Dome or Moon yet. Lots. Probably because Yelm is still trapped in hell on turn three. Okay. What's okay, so we've got into turn four. Yeah. Uber can do that thing with minions. And if oh. any minions are on the board apart from a bunch of birds. There's only the board. Okay, Magastas, the Chaos Rift is closed. Magastas pulled there. John, you've just chosen to enact the Great Compromise. You gave Chaos three victory points no, ahead no, of I me. Get chaos two. There you go. No, I Darkness chaos two. The third. The yeah, the third. Three. Yeah, which is three victory points. Okay, so, so all I gave Yelm second, then Chaos, and then finally me, because I was ahead. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so the Great Compromise has been affected. It's quite a nice balancing mechanic, but we'll now move on. Chris, does the Castle of Lath count as a ziggurat? Um, no. No. Okay, there are a few units on the board. Yes. Yeah, that seems to be the nature of this game. Okay, we're getting our heads around the com completely bizarre c special rules now. And the point, and move all the units in this square to this square. Okay, right. You. Yeah. Can we build shrines in areas which have got nests in them? Yes. Of course you can. Right. Yeah, because I can't destroy you while there's a god there. Yeah. So it took us a couple of hours for our first game. We finished our first game of God's War. And Tom managed to win on yeah. 43 with Chaos at the end yeah. of the game. Tom, how did you manage to win in the end? Um, lots of points from having all my nests out scattered across the board, Which we plus you get drawing. points for each completed pair of gifts. By the end, everyone was getting three points around, except for Yelm, who deliberately sacrificed a couple to get a bonus. Well, I sacrificed one. Yes. Actually, John didn't get one of his, did he? Which one did you get, John? Kill an enemy mortal in battle. Okay. I tried. He killed enemy gods, yeah. but those mortals, there weren't enough of them around. Yes. And only a few mortals yeah. in the game. Did you remember yeah. my emperor at one point? I made him retreat because even though I had yes, didn't, didn't twelve dice. Like yes. So um, Chris was I ahead. Didn't get, I didn't do my action to spend. Chris, yeah. What were you saying here? Sorry. The, the sun spear is quite useful for the ability to swap out a phoenix for another lesser god or mortal if you can roll higher than their power. So, how different is it to Cthulhu Wars, John? Very. Yeah, I'd say it was almost a completely different game, yes. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it feels it's, it's it's similar flavour, but quite different in the way it plays out. Yeah, uh, the units are much less powerful in terms of number yeah, of dice. Totally, yeah. 
It's a slower game, I think, but it's a more gradual development. I was wondering how well balanced it is, but actually I don't think it's that badly balanced. How well now we've played it through and what sort of things we've got. The quote compromises are very much a level. Yeah. 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 Right, I, I mean, the effects of the Chaos Rift were quite horrific. There seems to be a lot of randomness there. But I think, well, mind you, I think we weren't actually entirely playing the... You know, to start off with, we weren't playing the Chaos Rift in the best way. No, we weren't. We were wang expensive creatures in there and... Yeah. Close well, it as quickly as you can. still get killed for it. Uh, you still get returned to the pool. Yeah, yeah. You still lose them. Yeah. You still have to put points to go back. Yes. But uh, it would probably help if the board was a little bit bigger than our. We should have been a bit more generous on the spending power. Yeah. Because we didn't really. Most, 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 you two were only spending four, one, one, one or two, mate.